Hey guys, Sith Lord 310 here with a new segment, a short video I'm going to do every week called Movie News of the Week, where I'm going to pick a topic of movie news from this past week, and then I'm going to talk about it, give my review, give my, my, my point of view on it, and I'm also going to pick, to me at least, what I think is the most important or the most controversial thing of this past week in movie news. Okay, so this is the big thing that's just actually just got announced the day I'm making this video, which is Wednesday, July 12th. <laughs> And that is that Disney, as we all know, Disney has been really pumping out their movies, you know, their animated classic movies into live action features. And most of them have worked via Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast and not Alice in Wonderland, though. But anyways, um, and one of the movies coming up is Aladdin. They're trying to make a live action Aladdin. And a news report came out saying that Disney is having trouble finding like, an actor to play Aladdin. Now let's be very, the internet pretty much blew up when this happened, saying that how can Disney be having trouble to find an actor to play Aladdin? Now, the biggest complaint about, you know, when you get a character who is from a certain nationality and you change that in a movie, you get a lot of backlash. For example, when Scarlett Johansson was, you know, picked to play the main character in Ghost in the Shell, this year's past movie. She got a lot of backlash because the original actor is not white. And it was saying that, you know, Hollywood is whitewashing everything. So that got a lot of backlash. So you can only imagine what would happen if Disney casted, you know, um, Chris Pine as Aladdin. I don't know, it's just a random name. But either way, people would have freaked out. I would have been upset with that too because that doesn't make sense. Now, I get the point where, okay, yeah, does it, the nationality of the character can be changed. Any trait of a character can be changed if that trait isn't important to who the character truly is. Who you know, the, the defining traits of that, character's, that character, if it's not, if that doesn't involve it, then okay, go ahead, change it. That's my big thing. I, I don't care if we change, you know, I don't care if we change a character in a movie. Like for example, I don't care if you make Aquaman. I don't care if you make him, you know, Asian. I really don't. If you pick the actor, an Asian actor, I don't care. Why? Because Aquaman's defining trait is not that he's he looks white or he looks American. That's not his defining trait. But with certain characters like Captain America, okay, yeah, you have to pick someone who's American. You can't pick, you know, a Russian actor to play that and then you're trying to change it, you know? That is when bad things happen. That's when the that is when, you know, the, the internet goes on goes in storm. And I know a lot of people are giving Disney shit for this, you know, for not being able to find a good Aladdin. We gotta give them we don't know what their vision of Aladdin is going to be in this live action movie. We don't know if they're going to have him sing or if he's not going to sing or if there's certain, you know, qualifications that an actor has to have in order to be Aladdin in this movie. That we don't know. We don't know what's going on with Disney right now. We don't know what they're planning, what, who they have in mind to cast as Aladdin. They maybe have someone a certain picture in their head of who they want to play Aladdin. And we don't know that. So I think it's very unfair that we're going out and we're just judging them and, you know, smashing them for doing this. Like I said before, and I always will say, trust in Disney. They know what they're doing, and they will resolve everything, okay? So, yeah, let me ask you guys. What did you guys, what do you guys think about this whole, you know, Disney having trouble casting Aladdin fiasco? Comment and let me know. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoy, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and check back in next week for my movement news week, my movement news of the week next week. Thank you for watching, and as always, may the force be with you.